supplements you need for muscle growth. Hello and welcome to Redline Fitness. My name is Thaddeus. Thanks for watching our video today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell below so you get an alert anytime we post new content. You can also follow us on your social media choice at Redline Fitness X. So today's topic covers the supplements you need for muscle growth. So let's get two things out of the way. First of all, what are supplements? Supplements are something that enhance or complete something else when added to it. The second thing we need to get out of the way is what are the foundational pieces you need for muscle growth before we even get into the supplements? The things that you need as a foundational, there are four parts of this. You need a good strength program, you need a good recovery approach, you need appropriate protein intake, and you need to have an appropriate water intake. Those four things are the foundational part of muscle growth. You'll notice that I'm not really gonna talk about cardio because for all intents and purposes, cardio is not an optimal tool for muscle growth. So now that we have the foundational pieces, it can be argued that you don't need any supplements. Well, I understand that but you're going to find that if you want to really maximize what you're doing in the gym, there are two supplements that, yes, you will need in your repertoire. The first one is a protein supplement. Now, when I talked about those four foundational pieces, if you are able to eat enough protein each and every day, then no, you don't need to supplement your protein intake. But as a general rule, most of us are not able to eat enough protein per day. So we need to go ahead and make sure that we use a protein supplement, and that is typically a protein shake. For all intents and purposes, protein bars are candy bars with a little more protein in them. So I would really push you toward um, protein, a quality protein powder. There are two types of protein powder. Uh, once again, there are more than two, but I'm going to give you just the two that I would recommend, and that is whey or casein. Talking about these two types of protein, whey and casein, Whey will synthesize and build your muscles faster. Casein is a slower synthesizing protein and will stay in your body a little longer and synthesize more slowly while building your muscle. Some companies will market casein as an overnight protein. Bottom line is, in a 24-hour period, you need to make sure you are getting 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Now understand, I'm gonna put some articles and some links down in the video description, so if you wanna look into this more, you can. You're gonna hear anything from 0.8 up to 1.5 from most scientific studies. You're gonna hear gym bros give you all kinds of numbers that they've just heard from somebody else. I'm giving you a really good general rule here. On a daily basis, 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight is what you need if you want to maximize your muscle growth. The second supplement I wanna to talk to you about today is creatine. Now on the screen, you're going to see a pretty technical layout of how creatine works, but to make it simple for you, creatine regenerates a molecule in your body called adenosine triphosphate, and that's the energy source for your body. So by supplementing with creatine, you're helping your body with recovery and the amount of energy that you have to put forth in your training sessions. So exactly how should you go about taking creatine? Well, you should take five grams a day if you're a male, three grams a day if you're a female, and make sure that you are taking it every single day. Do not skip a day because creatine has a cumulative effect. You may read in articles about loading creatine, which just means taking it extra in your first week or two. That is not necessary to do. I will tell you, as somebody that does use creatine, after about a month and a half of using it, I could really tell that my recovery was faster and I did have more energy and more stamina when I was going after those extra reps in the gym. So once again, I would highly recommend creatine for muscle growth. So before we end this video, I wanna address a couple of supplements that really have nothing to do with muscle growth, and that is fish oil, glucosamine chondroitins, multivitamins. There are a number of, of supplements out there like this that are great for joints or great for something else that is not related to muscle growth. 
do your research. If it's something that your body is lacking and you need it to become more healthy, then go ahead and use it. But there are also a lot of supplements out there that are a waste of money. Obviously, the number one is always going to be fat burners. Fat burners are the biggest waste of money out there. As far as muscle growth goes, BCAAs tops the list. BCAAs, which stands for branched chain amino acids, are a part of protein. So when you're taking in whey or casein protein, you're getting all of your essential amino acids. But when you buy BCAAs, which are commonly more expensive than whey protein, you're buying a part of the essential amino acids that you need for your muscles to regrow. So BCAAs are a colossal waste of money. When you're in the supplement store and they're trying to sell you this garbage, don't fall for it. You do not, you do not need this for anything other than it sounds cool to say you have BCAAs. Now, as we get to the end of this video, I wanna let you know that we appreciate all your support and we want to help you become the best version of yourself. So if there's a supplement that you're curious about, put it in the comment section below. If there's a certain type of creatine or a certain type of protein that you wanna know about, send me a direct message on Instagram. I'm not going to talk about certain companies on these videos because I have no need to help a company out or to put a company down. I'm not trying to do these videos for that. I'm trying to do these videos for you to make sure that you are optimizing your training. Hey guys, if you have any other video ideas just like this one here, also put that in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. The good ideas we get, we make videos just like this one right here. As always, we want to make sure that we help you along your fitness journey. And we want you to know that at Redline Fitness, we want you to always challenge yourself.